In August, an aerial 1080 poison operation was completed by TB3 to kill possums across 30,000 hectares of the northern Poriora Forest Park. Deer repellent was used on a small percentage of the drop area to minimise bite kill. What's really annoying about this drop, I'd like to say, is that last two years I've done a, um, a monitoring on pig heads. I've got 60 pig heads out of this area, right through, big scale of bush, every single one of them was clear, no TB, absolutely nothing. Over what period of time? Over two years, alright. Animal Health Board said to me it will not be 1080 dropped if you come back with no, no TB um, reactors. We've got 15 deer heads out of here as well, they're all clean. They then came back to me and said, no it's not good enough, you didn't get them from the south end, right? Now the south end, when we first signed the contract, they never even mentioned about doing the south end. They just wanted it from the northern end, and we did that. So they just manipulate however they want to do to, to suit themselves. Pigs and deer are the game animal thing. We've got 25,000 pig hunters in the country, and 10,000 registered deer stalkers in the country. There's no need for them to target these other game animals when they there's, there's no need for it anymore. This is a young yearling of fawn really, this is this year's fawn I'd say. It's out here in a bit of an open ridge. There's another yearling deer just further around the ridge here, we'll go and take a look at that. And clearly the deer repellent isn't working. Here's the other deer we were talking about not far from that uh, fawn over there. This one's a yearling. Um, once again, as you could just see there, a few deer repellent baits still sitting about. They're in quite good shape, eh? Yeah, sort of it's been a couple of weeks. Yeah. Got a good few hours of daylight, so we'll keep pressing on, eh? Well, there's a stag here, me and Rob found on Sunday. It's Friday today. He's come out of this deer repellent area here, he was lying here, we've come back to show the graft boys the stag but someone's dragged him so that's obviously telling you something right there, trying well, to get him out of sight. But you look around here where the animal was lying which was there and look at the amount of cattle crap yep. around the area, the cattle are very curious and they've made their way over here and have concentrated into this little spot to investigate mm -hmm. and, uh, and as we said we were just walking through, we're driving through that bush block there with the baits all through it, the deer repellent baits. Well, I guess the farmer's just brought stock through here and he's yep. unaware that this area has been poisoned and then we've just discovered that it is because there's baits that have been driven over there. You can see that one. How much rain? Uh, 13 mil we've had. 13? Yep. And it's been what, how, when was the drop? A week and a half? No, be two weeks now. Yeah, two weeks ago now. Another yes, one there, uh, run over. I don't know if it was us or not. Or and then yeah. the baits are actually still here. still here, look. There's one there. See that? This, oh boy, that's a solid sucker, that. Look at that. And then there's another one here. This is quite interesting, just the numbers that are here. Another one there. Yeah. Another one there on the leaf. Whereabouts? Over there, another one. Right there. Another uh, one there. Over here. Right there. Well, they would the cattle just, go? Well, they would have run on through here, and then they'll be in this next paddock. And there's the cattle there that ran through that block. So the poor old farmer wasn't aware, was he? No, not no. at all aware. And the thing is, we can't understand is where, where this deer's gone. <laughs> Like um, where the, the chopper's picked it up, or because the cocky hasn't shifted it, so it's, we're coming over here to expect to see a deer, and it's not here. We talked about the deer that had died out on the farm. Is this the one? Yes. Yeah. yeah, but it's the same same animal. Yeah. 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 Someone's moved it from the grass verge there and dragged it all the way around and then dumped it over here. So I suppose you just assume it's another farmer. Yeah, you think so, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but so, <laughs> no one seems to know who's moved, it's a bit of a mystery, but um, yeah. We're in an area that's got deer repellent on it, and here's a dead blackbird. And of course we know that the ordinary baits kill birds, but there you go, that's just the evidence that 
Deer repellent baits also kill birds. Well, this little guy is a sweet little thing, isn't he? Looks like he's only a few days old. We've got fawn, yearling, hind, and stag all killed on deer repellent. And even a baby goat and birds, blackbirds, so it's not yeah. looking good, is it? Not good at all. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty, coming out the nose pretty bad, isn't it? Yeah. So then, of course, there's pig bait, isn't it? Yeah. Pigs get into that, would you believe? Everything bait. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how many acres of bush have you got, Rob? Uh, there's a couple of thousand. Um, this is all deer, deer repellent in here, yeah. a whole lot. And so, and where's this pig? He's, he's probably up in, up in here, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. What about the, um, the other deer, the stag? I uh, found him over here, just on the grass edge, yep. bush well, edge. There's two younger deer. Um, they're sort of up, up, up in here, a bit, a bit high. And what about this sort of carry? I mean, this is your property. <coughs> yeah, we've got a hut further down. Kids will let go there, and um, we want to drink out of this creek for, for quite a while. You know, how long before that going to break down? Well, and the other thing is, you know about that one, but often possums are in the, sh the streams as well. Deer end up in them. Uh, it's just an unacceptable practice, to, doesn't it seem? Uh, yeah, to me, yeah. It's, um, we haven't found a lot of possums anyway. The manufacturer's warning label states, this product is toxic to wildlife. Birds and mammals feeding on carcasses of contaminated animals may be fatally poisoned. Here we've got a, a good, uh, a good sized spiker which has been consumed by pigs. Uh, you can see the pigs have been, looks like they've been living under that log there, good shelter, a nice meal they might think. The point here is that the poison label states that all these carcasses, if you're going to poison an animal, uh, must be buried deeply. But in New Zealand, they're just left here to decompose. Other animals can come in and uh, scavenge. They're toxic. Once again, no maggots. We've got blowflies, we've got other insects crawling across the carcass, but no maggots. It's quite fascinating. Tenate poison remains in animal carcasses until they are completely consumed by scavenging animals, birds or insects, or until they completely decompose, which can take many, many months. Farm dogs are also at risk from poisoning throughout this time. What's fascinating is that there's no blows or maggots on this carcass. The, um, the thing's dried out quite a lot. Pigs have been into it scavenging, pulled the guts out. These carcasses lie here and they're basically like a big plate of chips down at the pub on a Friday night to birds, aren't they? Birds come along, there's lots of insects, you know, walking all over these and the birds... Once the pigs have opened it up, of course, it's more easy access for the birds as well. Yeah. And of course, it's an you know, 1080 is also an insecticide, so that's how you get some of the insectivorous birds poisoned. 